Okay, so today we're going to install some under cabinet lighting um, using an existing receptacle. Um, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect this outlet and then uh, install an old work box. So this is the kind that has the little flanges. So you put this on the outside of the drywall, this behind, turn the screw and tighten it to hold it in there. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the wiring. You might want to... Did you shut it off? Did you shut off the power? Of course I turned off the power. Alright, stop. Okay. Alright, so we've got um, just kind of uh, one that you can just stick in the back here. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew these to release. We've got a medium to thin metal blade on it, and we're just going to cut through the nails holding the um, holding the, the box in here. Okay, so now I've taken the um, blade out, I'm just going to flip it upside down, put it back in. Alright, you can see I've taken the battery out as a safety measure, because that would really suck. Pop the battery back in, get it situated in here. And turn the power back on. And all right, I think I got it. Yeah. All right. So I went ahead and cut out, slab the drywall here with the reciprocating saw. Um, it's kind of cut straight here. You can see we tried very hard not to cut the studs. Um, and now we have put holes straight through the studs. Um, if you look on this one, you want to put it as close to the middle as possible. So straight through there. Um, you can see we got a lot of wiring back in here too, so you want to be really careful when you're using the reciprocating saw not to hit that. Um, mine is grounded. If you can, get a grounded reciprocator saw. Alright, so, oh man, we came pretty close there. <laughs> so now we're going to put a hole right through here and run the wire down through here and out in the middle here. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out the wire. All right. Okay. All right. So as you can see, we have run the wires, um, starting here, pulled it through to here and then cut it. Now we've pulled this one from here down into here. Um, so now I'm going to put the box in and pull these wires in so that we can splice these two together um, and then go ahead and connect up the wiring. Um, so I will show you how to do that in a minute once we get the box in. So all right, we've run our wires through here. Um, you can see both of the light, uh, both of the light wires are going to be going to our under cabinet lighting in the back there and they're being pulled through. So the wire coming in on the right here, that is our load wire. Um, so that's bringing the power in. And then on the left there is the line wire, which is going to be sending uh, power to this, this switch and the receptacle down at the other side of the counter. So what we did is we put both of the load wires um, into the GFI and then the line wire is pulled in and it is spliced to go to both this switch um, 
and to the GFI as well as down to the next receptacle. So and then we've pulled in all of the neutral wires um, and those are spliced together. We've got the load neutral or the line neutral wire and then we've got the two neutral wires going to uh, the light switches as well as the one going to the line so on down. And then we've spliced the ground wires together from the lights um, and put them on the switch. So now we are going to put all of this back into the wall. We've got everything packed back in there. Um, we put the plate on. Uh, as you can tell, it cracked it a little bit. So we're going to have to get a new one of those. But everything's back in there. Looks good. So now we need to cover up the hole that we made. Um, so we put two pieces of plywood on either side. Uh, you can watch our video on repairing giant holes in drywall. Um, so that way we have something to support our cutout. And then we put that back in and then plaster it. Okay, so Adam and I are going to be doing a backsplash uh, later this month. So we just kind of um, put the piece back up there, popped a few drywall screws into it, um, and we'll make it look prettier later. If you are not doing a backsplash, then you'll probably want to put the screws a little bit more around the edge to make sure that it doesn't end up folding out. Now Adam's going to fill it in with plaster just to get the holes in. And then we'll be ready to do the backsplash. Ooh. We've got the wires all hooked up. Um, we just bought a couple of LED lights, um, as you can see here. Um, down. So we went ahead and installed those just following the basic instructions. Um, it's kind of annoying to do the 12 inch ones because they're so small that we can get the wires in. Took a little bit of effort, but they're in now. Um, all set. Now we can turn them off, turn them on, and dimmer.